I said it. Uh. Uh. is for the 12th house jupiter transit or aries rising sun moon um this is for anywhere you may have aries energy but most importantly this is for whoever is having the jupiter transit in the 12th house so let's see aries messages um more in-depth spiritual understanding in your purpose and being here with the collective um, visions, dreams, and understanding how you are your own enemy by false ideas about why you're powerful. So we're going to be um, heavily, especially during Pisces season, um, dissolving all of the false identities that have been created in the last 13 months that needs to be stripped away from you. If you're going through a Saturn return, this is going to be very useful for you because you get to get rid of old ideologies about yourself that is getting in the way of you being successful in your life moving forward. So, um, 12th house is um, Piscean energy as well. So you will be feeling this very strongly um, in your daily life and routine. Um, you may feel the need to escape um, more frequently um, which could be through drinking, smoking, or, you know, just finding a way to kind of zone out of your reality um, instead of facing things squarely. And it's natural to be that way, but you want to do it healthily. Um, you want to allow yourself to tackle the dark side of yourself so that you can feel lighter again and feel free when you do choose to escape what you call your reality for a little time in. Um, this is also about making sure you're not doing too much of self-sacrificing for other people and realizing that other people that you have sacrificed for rather now or in the past experiences you've had in life are the common denominator is you. You allow yourself to give your power away to other people you give your time away, your energy away to other people in certain ways that made you feel like you didn't matter. And it's not that you don't matter. It's just that you didn't put yourself first in certain situations or reverse. Um, you need to be a little bit more compassionate with people who do deserve your time, energy, and attention. And be less egoic when making decisions that have to do with being a part of a collective okay so being more in touch with your your spiritual self than your ego okay so let's see first card out we have partners seventh house so this has to do with relationships um what you want to be careful with is owning second house both of these heavy venus energies um, third position, which you want to focus on, is change. Allowing things to change. And last is what, of course, missing. Okay. And overall energy has self, self no debts. Okay. So there definitely is some karmic. 12th house is about karmic debt um, being paid or taken away from you. So, um, and this is the house of undoing yourself. So you may have chose to you know make decisions in the last 13 months and moving well in the last 13 months when the last time um or the last 13 13 years honestly 13 years shit i can say months it's years in the last 13 years or 2010 um that was the beginning of this jupiter and pisces cycle between that cycle and this cycle so since then um, there may have been a lot of one-on-one um, -on -one partnerships that kind of made you feel like they owed you something or you owed them something. 
and it's time for you to change how you look at those circumstances moving forward because there are a lot of illusions that were mixed in there to make you feel like you are trapped especially financially when you really weren't um you just have to choose to let that person miss you or you just have to allow yourself to miss those old ways of attaining power in relationships that are no longer working for you because it has more to do with you paying off a karmic debt than you moving forward to your life purpose so um we got partners owning change missing we got two sevens here what you want to focus on in your outcome are seven so we will put you in a position where you will definitely feel like being more isolated than ever um it may be a change for you to be more isolated than you usually is you want people to you know not necessarily miss you on a negative like low vibrational mean but you want to allow space between you and other people so you can identify what do you feel and what someone else feel because you may be in, in partnerships that try to make your feelings their feelings or you may try to make your feelings their feelings and there needs to be a separation between that moving forward you need to change that um dynamic in your relationships and allow there to be some room between you so let's look at this partnerships first there is some karmic debt being paid right now during this transit and it's not a bad thing you it's the dragon's tail you want to get rid of you know like i was saying old ways um the 12th house is about hidden enemies as well so you may be perceiving a lot of things as detrimental to you you might even perceive the partnership you're in as a detriment to you but it's really you that are the detriment to you okay how you see things how you perceive things on especially on the spiritual level is the detriment of you or the savior of you so partners partners you got temperance so um you could be at a distance from the partnerships that you want to grow with or you could just be at a distance on a visionary level at this time um temperance also is about patience this is um akin to archangel michael energy where um he represents protection spiritual protection definitely and you want to protect your friendships you want to project protect the relationships that you have but um you want to feel protected as well in one-on-one -on -one partnerships moving forward um temperance is also about humility and have an emotional balance and we have the page of pentacles at the bottom so you may be learning or you may be in a partnership with someone else who is now learning to have more patience with um uniting one-on-one -on -one with people you may have been surrounded by a lot of people who um when it comes to relationships they are trying to take their time and be very aware of the vision that they have for themselves and learning as they grow or this could be you needing to do this right now again your visions dreams and understanding how you are your own enemy by false ideas about what what makes you powerful what makes you you you're start, you have to learn yourself all over again and this is about you dissolving all the things that you thought you were okay so what do you need to stop owning Ooh, your card <laughs> and you got two majors back to back okay so they got the emperor here this is aries energy so um what you may have been running from or not really owning is your life force energy you've allowed other people to control your energy or you may have been over controlling other people's life force energy so with the page of cups here at the bottom 
this is just a lovely reminder from yours truly to allow people to make decisions for themselves and not take it personal allow people to learn life lessons on their own and don't take it personal what they're choosing to do with their life lessons and their own karmic debts that they have to repay is not personal or tied to your life force energy you are individuals okay you feeling like you're responsible for someone else's money or their habits is not your responsibility unless you're married and you have to do this joint thing that's a different story i don't really know too much about that you know what i'm saying but again even in a marriage even in that type of a partnership you have to create the relationship one-on-one -on -one especially you have to create the relationships that you want to have yes you meet people in the middle yes you can you know compromise or whatever but don't fall like don't reverse back on the things that that make you feel in control of your life you want to get rid of the false illusions yes but you do not owe anybody anything and nobody owes you anything and then maybe someone younger than you that may be trying to control you or control the situation that you guys are in. But um, this is like being very immature emotionally with how you handle situations. So you may have to be the person to boss up and stop allowing people to control you. And, and vice versa, you also want to let go and detach from situations by emotionally manipulating other people into feeling like they owe you something. So let's look at this change. What's changing? We got the Nine of Pentacles, Venus and Virgo. So what's changing is how ooh, and the lovers. Okay, so we're definitely making the decision moving forward that we want to change how how we take care of our selves moving forward. We're going to change, make better heart and mind connected decisions moving forward that helps us to grow this is about growth celebrating your growth sharing your growth allowing the little birdie in <laughs> following your intuition okay that's this is archangel Raphael. this is the healing musical artistic messenger a lot of people think that Archangel Raphael is something that he's not. And now it's time for you to change and let people know. Like, no, I'm looking in the mirror, facing my demons, and being one with them instead of trying to ignore them. You know, heal yourself. If you have any issues or ailments during this time, um, it may be more emotional than factual to keep that in mind so you definitely want to um, change the way you eat change your habits and how you think about yourself how you talk to yourself um, and when you do feel those um, low vibrational emotions or you do start to say things to yourself that are kind of more hurtful than helpful just willingly be okay with asking yourself like why do i think this way why do i feel this way what am i trying to tap into what is coming up with this mountain here in the middle you want to address like okay what emotions are coming up for me that i've been suppressing or trying to ignore because it made me feel powerless and i get i want to give myself a false sense of pride and ego by acting like it doesn't exist and you can't do that anymore during this transit it's going to happen it's going to come up and when you allow that change to complete the process you will allow those things to go missing and then you get to find the parts of you that were missing the whole time that you didn't you know get a chance to really tap into for the last 13 years because you've been out of touch with yourself so let's look at missing missing We got Ace of Wands. So you missed an opportunity. You may have missed an opportunity to 
feel attracted to what you want or be attracted to what you want but just know this the water course moon happens when the moon has done its job in one sign and then it takes a break to you know go take a break <laughs> before going into the next sign to do the work there so during this time it may be again beneficial for you to take breaks this is the opportunity for you to take a break from you know doing things just out of perfunctory and really get into what desires you truly have what type of life you really want to attract to your life and focusing more on that um and getting yourself in alignment so you can get rid of all those things that make you feel like you can't have what you want or feeling like other people are blocking you from what you want it's not them it's you okay so and at the bottom we have the knight of pentacles yeah this situation will seem like a drag <laughs> but again it's productive discipline okay so what activation we have for the 12th house transit it was blue like kind of like a bluish green so a heart and throat chakra okay so ooh, aquamarine angel bath coal and aquamarine authentic voice my authentic voice awakens truth clarity and courage within myself and others my voice supports the opening of my soul path i trust that the expressed with love brings spiritual benefit to all beings the authentic message from my soul shared with generosity and grace are recognized and received my soul wisdom knows how to express what needs to be shared effectively and for the highest good I accept and express the uniqueness of my authentic voice and tune in to what resonates deeply for me. I choose to live the truth of my soul. So that's pretty much where what you're working on. Okay, and that's what this is for. Okay, and it may feel uncomfortable, but don't pity yourself. You're learning a new way of being so that you can fully feel your life experience and be open to what opportunities lie ahead of you okay so that's your message thank you so much for tuning in peace